Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Ellie and I'm a stay at home mom who likes to budget and sell stuff online. And on today's video, I have a massive Goodwill Bins haul. So I went to the bins on Monday. So I don't know when this video is coming out, but on a Monday, I went to the bins and I was able, I got there at 940 in the morning and I stayed until three o'clock. So I was able to do a few rotations, which was really what I was hoping for. I would have stayed for longer, but I was getting really hungry and tired, and I had plenty of stuff. Um, I got 90 pounds of items at the bins, and yeah, it, it, it was a lot. I think it was a little bit too much. I feel like this is like a hoarder's buried alive situation. But anyways, I'm excited to show you what I got. You know, nothing spectacular, just the usual stuff, but you know, these are the things that sell in my store. So let's get started. And I am going to split this video into two, two, because I mean, I could split it into more. Hopefully this will be too long. So I'm going to stop talking and get going. And if you hear noise, that is my BFF Norman. Um, first off, we have this TRF, which is Sarah TRF collection, which is um, one of the tiers from Zara. I don't know which one, but it's this extra small white eyelet dress. It's very cute and, and it's in fairly good condition. I mean, there's a couple of spots and I'm just going to clean it up. And there's a product that I use. It's not bleach. It's not, I mean, OxyClean is usually what I first use, but when I want to soak items that are completely white, um, I think it's called bright white. I'm going to put a picture so you can see. And that takes care of like the white stuff. It is like super toxic smelling. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Here we have a pair of leggings and the brand is... Kyodan? Kyodan? Not sure how you say that. But I believe this is a TJ Maxx brand. And it's just a regular pair of size medium, long length leggings. And, you know, these sell for like $12, $15. But the condition is excellent. Next, we have a pair of Old Navy Rockstar Super Skinny High Rise Secret Slim Pocket Jeans in a red color. It's the button fly, which is pretty great, especially, I mean, especially on like the high rise. It looks pretty cool. Um, surprisingly fast to unzip when you have to go to the bathroom or unbutton, I guess. But they were in good condition. It's a beautiful color. Pick them up. Here we have got another pair of jeans. Oh, those are pants or jean pants. I don't know. These are Lauren Jeans Company. L, so LRL, so I guess Lauren, Ralph Lauren. Yeah, so well, it says right here. Okay, so these are a pair of jeans, straight leg. I've never picked up Ralph Lauren jeans, but the condition was great and it's like a nice dark color. So I've never, it's an 18W, which is a great size. So I'm just going to give these a try and see how they do. And this one's a fail. It is, the brand is Windsor. Let me just see if you can see it right here. And I think this is an ASOS brand. But I picked it up, picked it up um, thinking it has like the Y2K um, style. It's like a rib fabric with the ditzy print, which is what you call like these little itty bitty tiny flowers. However, when I got home, I noticed that it has these like ink, these like pink, I don't know, it looks like um, a highlighter color. So I'm going to try cleaning it like throwing some oxy and what's the other thing baking soda dawn peroxide you know the usual let's see if it takes care of the stain and if not well you know or actually i have a thing that's for ink we'll see but i give it a try i don't want to like throw it in the trash or donate it or whatever here we have a little skirt and the brand is salam it says made in the USA, it's a size large, and it's this cute skirt with the flowers that I thought very beachy, um, summer appropriate. Never heard of that brand, but it was cute, so I got it. Let's see, this one, the brand is Drew, and I'm not sure where this is sold, but it is this sort of like frayed tweed zipper blazer. What size is this? It's size medium. So picked it up based on style. Oh my goodness, somebody's snoring. Okay, this item has a flaw, but I picked it up because it was beautiful. 
it's Elaine Bryant dress and it has like these ombre color and like the pleating accordion style details however it has where is it it has some staining here in the front like somebody spilled coffee or sauce or something on it but i just thought this was such a beautiful dress for like a wedding so i i you know i picked it up even though it had the stains and i'm gonna stain treat that and hopefully get it out okay here we have this mini skirt and with the you know interesting like bow in the front and the brand is leaf stoter leaf stirter leaves something and when i searched up this brand is sold at anthropology so let's see what does it say here does it have the rn number um, let's take a look yes yeah, so it has a six 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 one seven zero which is the anthropology and also urban outfitters but at least like you know it comes from one of those stores but i thought it was a very cute like mini skirt with the print this is what is this oh this is a chaps which is a ralph lauren brand it's sold at kohl's so i think that's like the lowest tier of all the ralph laurens and this is uh henley long sleeve t-shirt you know pretty plain but it has i got it because um it has a really cute like detail on the trim here with like the beading so based on that style i got it here we have i think this is lance end where is it? yeah uh oh yes lance end no iron pinpoint oxford it's a size 20 w and it's this sort of floral medallion oh man and I'm just noticing the same ink transfer. Oh, this is a fail. Okay, so I'm gonna have to stain treat that. I wonder if it was in the same bin. Because some of the bins, they, they were wet. I hope with water. So maybe, you know, something pink was in there and it transferred onto everything else. I don't know. Okay. Here is another Lane Bryant. And usually I don't pick Lane Bryant. I mean, I've picked it up a couple of times, but I'm doing it more based on style. Like Torrid, most of the time I'll just pick it up because of the brand. But Lane Bryant, I picked up in style. But this is like a cute, like, halter triangle top with, um, like, little... I don't know what you call these. It's not sequins, but... In Spanish, I think that's called Shakiras. I don't know. But anyways, it's a size... 24 so it's very cute like really cute for summer um so that's what i got it this is let me see this is an ann taylor i believe yes ann taylor petite it's just a button blouse like floral print it's a cute career piece this is a fail well actually this one i kind of picked up for myself but it is a fail anyways the brand is Cable and Gouch, which I believe they sell like at Burlington, TJ Maxx, all those fun places. It's like a little eyelet tank top. However, it has yellowing in the pits. So, I mean, I could try bleaching that, but I mean, that's not going to resell for much. And that was actually for myself, but here we have a Charter Club, which is a Macy's brand and it's new with tags. Retail price was $69.50 and it's a cardigan. And the beautiful like nice blue color and it has like a little like bling out buttons so very cute this one i thought i dropped it threw it back in the bin but i did not obviously it is h m divided size 10 it's just a cotton long sleeve with the striped blouse it's a pretty color this is a j gel piece tunic top with this sort of i guess this is iCat which i mean iCat that's not on trend it hasn't been for a long time but it is a larger size it's an extra large and because it has it's like the tunic length i decided to get it okay here we have something that i wasn't sure of, but i looked it up it's splendid and splendid is very expensive retail but the resale value is just not there like i have a couple of splendid pieces and they don't move at all but this is like a long sleeve waffle knit with the lace up detail in the front and i wasn't sure if this was a pe uh, pajamas because the other day at salvation army i saw a top and it seemed familiar and it was because it was the top of a costco splendid pajama so i looked this up and it's not a pj it's just a waffle knit like thermal with like the cute detail so we'll see how that does 
This is very soft. Maybe for myself, I'm not 100% sure. But this brand, they sell it at Nordstrom, but I also see it at TJ Maxx all the time. It's Bobo. Or Babo, Bobo. Yeah, Bobo. And it's this like cardigan. It's very soft. It kind of reminds me of like the blue and gray fabric. And it's just like a single button. Very cozy. Nice for like airplanes. This, I pick, I wasn't going to even grab it, but when I was digging, because you know, it was a sweater and it kind of looked kind of pilly. Um, but when I was like digging through the bins, I saw, because it was a new bin, it was an Everlane top. So, you know, it's like a purple long sleeve sweater with a mock neck. And let's see what fabric this is, because it's very, very soft. Might be like alpaca or something like that. But yeah, alpaca. Alpaca nylon tool, uh, wool. So yeah, I'm ex happy I grabbed it because otherwise I would have left it behind. Okay, And as you can see, you'll notice that I picked up a lot of sweaters. And I was intentionally not trying to, but they were cute. They were there, so I got them. Okay, this one is Coincidence and Chance. Never heard of this brand. It's this sweater with like a cute like ribbon. Um, I don't know what you would call this. Like you know, it's a cute knit. And I looked at the RN number, and it is yeah six six one seven zero. So I believe this is um an Urban Outfitters uh, brand. I'm not hundred percent sure, but it's one of those. But you know, I was picking it up on style, and then when I noticed that, I decided to get it. Here we have a beach cover-up from the brand. Where is me? Where is this? Okay, Blue Island, which they sell on Amazon. They sell it on TJ Maxx. But this is cute. You know, it has like a little crochet trim, lace trim around it. Beach cover-up, larger size. Can't go wrong with that. Here we have a Talbot's Petite sweater. Oh man, it says P, but it doesn't, what, what does the P mean? Because it is petite, so, but, I don't know, I'm going to have to look that up. But, I mean, it's just a cute, ripped, navy and white sweater. Okay, and I think this one's Talbot, I mean, I, this day there was so much Talbots, it was kind of weird. Another Talbot's petite, and this one says SP, so that's confusing. And this one's blue. And, I mean, they look like the same size, so, I don't know. We shall see. This one is H&M, uh, size medium, and it's just a leopard print cardi. It's in excellent condition, so. Let's see. I got that. Some people love the cardis. Uh, this one is an Ann Taylor color block pink. Or, what color is this? Yeah, it's like a magenta pink, I'm not sure. Yeah, like a dark magenta. But super cute, size small. Here is a loft tank top. I might try it on. Um, I don't know what size it is. I think it's extra small or small. Yeah, small. It's just like this uh, white, um, pink and gray. Sort of like a floral berry kind of thing going on. Oh, this one was another good find. Like I thought this was like a a tablecloth and it's actually a made well made well size large like this gingham plaid blazer so i've never sold a made well blazer so we shall see how that does okay next we have this old navy size large navy blue sweater with like the anchor so it has like the nautical team oh that nautical theme <laughs> so yeah, I like picking up Old Navy, especially when it's a larger size. And this one is Joie, size small. And Joie, it's a very expensive brand. However, I find it now at TJ Maxx all the time on the clearance rack. However, even like the price that TJ Maxx has it on, not the clearance price, like the price that they sell, it's like super dirt cheap. So like the value of this brand has dramatically, like retail value, gone down. So it's really not a brand that I would pay up for. You know, I mean, if you're watching like an older what's, uh, uh, what's sold or like haul uh, video, yeah, don't go by that because this brand does not do that well. And this is, oh, it's cashmere. Okay. 
I mean, I felt very soft. Like, I mean, I picked it up because it was very cute. I like the color. Um, but yeah, this is this is not a brand. You, this is a brand you pick up at the bins. But it's cashmere, so like cashmere. If it's if it's cashmere, I'll pick it up, regardless of the brand. So here we have this Jones New York navy blue floral pajama slip satin pajamas. What size are they? Size small. It's very cute, great condition. If you like wearing those type of things to sleep, I don't because like they like bunch up and it's like your butt's exposed when you're sleeping. That doesn't happen to you, it happens to me. Okay, so these are some shorts. Super cute short shorts from Loft Outlet, size six. Shorts are great. If this is the time for them. This is another item that I thought I threw back and I didn't, it's Express. And it's a size small leopard print. And usually like leopard print stuff, like I will pick up, but the reason why I was gonna throw it back is because it has like these ruffle thingies um, those really are not in style and also has like this elastic thing in the bottom So um, that's like a no Here's another pair of shorts and these are J. Crew size 4 city fit And they have like this little like stripe and they have these little faint pink anchors I'm not sure if you can see it right there So very cute and another pair of shorts, and these are really loud, and these are more like a Bermuda style, J. Crew Factory for City Fit. But some people love the loud shorts. I mean, it's, it is an eye cap print, so that's not really that trendy, but some people really wear Bermudas only. And actually, yes, I used to wear like a lot of Bermudas, and sometimes it was frustrating because they don't sell many Bermudas that have like a cute print. Like, I wanted to wear the shorts that have like cute prints like this one but in this length and those were hard to find so I just don't know why but I found one so I'm happy to resell them here is another pair of jeans and these are Banana Republic 32W and these kind of have like they have these sort of what are these called slash pockets so it has kind of like a trouser kind of style with a wide, wider leg and the condition was great and it's a great size it's a size 32 this i picked up on style it is the brand is haband haband with an exclamation point okay xx2224 so this is the brand i'm not sure if it's vintage maybe it is let's see but it has it's a denim chambray shirt and it has oh it has all these like embroidered flowers so based on that that's why i got it i just thought it was very pretty a lot of detail there okay here we have oh, here we have what do we have here what do we have oh this is a long cardigan with stripes and the brand is pink rose pink rose which is from TJ Maxx. It's a, it's a junior section, but it's a long line uh, cardigan. Like for me, it hits me below the knees. So this is like a duster. Okay, here's another cardigan. This one I picked up for myself. It is size medium from Express. And it just has like the long sleeves. This one kind of hits you below the butt. And here's another sweater. This was one of the first items I found. And it's a Tahari. And it's a size small and this like gray leopard print. And it's very soft. What material is this? It's a very soft fabric. So, viscose polyester and nylon. Okay, yeah, but it's still like very soft. So, that's awesome. And here we have another sweater. I'm telling you, I found so many sweaters on this day. American Eagle. It's, um, it's like this. I don't know if this is a dress or a sweater because it's very long. Like it hits me at right, almost on the knee. So maybe it is. It's like a sweater dress, but it's a size. Yeah, it's a size. Oh, it's a size small. This is kind of like oversized, but it's very soft as well. And oh, this is also another one of the first items I found. It's Babaton, which I found out that it's an Aritzia brand, and it's this cropped 
long sleeve sweater and it has this like yellow line like mustard marigold yellow line like little trim and it's also a very soft sweater i'm not sure what material this is because the last babaton item i found it's uh linen and this is cash it has cashmere cotton cashmere okay you see that's like the softness comes from the cashmere okay here is a gap sweatshirt it's gray and it has like little navy stars very cute make it a little bit different and this oh it's line and dot which someone told me it's mm, i can't remember is it also an aritzia brand someone commented on one of my videos the la last line and dot on the salvation army like the first time i went video I got a line dot so i saw it and it was in great condition so i picked it up as well and that's a very cute like pattern looks like clamshells this is a cashmere blend it's gap Lux. this is the pink v-neck sweater and i think it has like one percent cashmere something like that uh, let's see oh no it's not cashmere it's rabbit hair it has 10 percent angora rabbit hair so very soft and cute i mean this is not gonna sell for much but whenever you have like those specialty like fabrics i always pick it up this i picked up on style it's maurice's maurice size large it's this cute skirt with like a little like lace cover trim this is a victoria's secret bralette and it's kind of like this velvety fabric and it's not new but it has like the little um this thing so i i put excellent use condition like i don't like to say i mean i have a couple listings that say new without tags but i prefer saying excellent use condition in those cases this is a pure gel linen tunic top short sleeves i thought it was a larger size oh yeah it is large petite and this one's a fail it's um banana republic um what do you call that merino wool yeah fine italian merino sweater and i really liked it because it has like this cute um like sort of chevron pattern however I, when i was looking at it yesterday i noticed that it has a hole here so i'm gonna attempt to stitch it and just list it you know but not for much here is an airy just the long sleeves top, crop top. This is Universal Thread from Target, which I love, size medium. And it's this plaid long sleeve, like pop over top. Or, no, it's not pop over, it is a button top blouse. Here's a plaid top. And this one's J. Crew Mercantile, size 12. And it has like the bells sleeves detail make sure they're right yeah and here is what is this one mm -hmm. this is a vintage boyfriend okay vintage boyfriend it's a very lightweight it has like the utility roll tap sleeves semi sheer top from american eagle this is what brand is this one? Oh, this one's Brooks Brothers, and it's the size four, like crop ish, three quarter sleeves, or I'm not sure. What do you call it when the sleeves like comes to here? Because three quarter sleeves is up to here, so I'm not sure. But it's this cute blouse. I don't know how Brooks Brothers does, like at least not in the women's this one was one of the wet items and like i saw it and it looked kind of gross but then i saw that it is everlane so it's this green let's see they might be like cropped yeah green cropped pants super cute might try them on and see if they fit but i'll probably end up selling them because i ordered myself some pants from uh, some green pants actually in the same color from loft uh, from poshmark so that should be arriving anytime soon and then here we have this houndstooth h&m mini skirt 
size eight. So it has like that academia style. Now I'm gonna show you like the non-clothing items from this video because I don't want this to be too long. And this is a hat from, that's like a little trim with like a little bow detail. And this is from Einrake Hut, El Corte Inglés. And El Corte Inglés is um, it's a store in Spain. It's kind of like, a, I don't know, maybe like a Bloomingdale's or a Macy's. So I've been there when I went to Madrid many years ago. This does look kind of small, so I'm not sure. But I picked it up because of the style. I'm not sure what material it is. It doesn't say. But it's cute. It does look kind of small. And I'm not going to try it on because I got my curls. And don't want to mess those up. Okay. Here is a New England Patriots. Um... 59.50. I don't know what that means. Size seven and a quarter. And it has this color. This looks like a military type of color. I'm not sure which, if it's a specific branch of the military, like the uniforms or something. I don't know. But I don't know anything about sports. I don't know anything about hats, but I picked it up because of that. Um, it is kind of dirty, so I'm going to try uh, throwing it in my dishwasher. That's what I hear. Like, that's the best place to wash hats and see how that does. Here we have a game called What Do You Meme? I'm not sure if this is a thing. It has, like, that little evil-looking girl in the back. And it's new, so that's why I got it. And this is another game, Exploding Kittens. Sealed. So, you know, people are taking road trips. And they want to play games in the car. Okay, this one is a vintage The Little Mermaid uh, pillow sham. Pillow, pillow case. Yes, pillow case. So, you know, unfortunately, I didn't find the rest of the set. But to be honest, this was like in the clothes bins. I just never go. Like, there's. Was there a. Like, linen bin? Maybe there was, but I never go through those because those, like, they're so big and it's just too much work. But, anyways, I saw this one. I see the comps were like around $15, so I got it. If anyways, like little kids, they usually have like a single bed. They don't need like multiple um, pillowcases. So these are Tupperware cups. And I actually have some. Um, mine are around like eight, nine years old. And these cups are excellent. They usually come with a lid and while they are no spill like the if you have the lid like even if you dropped it like the lid doesn't come out so it's really good unfortunately no lids for these but sometimes like the kids chew on the lid so it's kind of like you know can't really resell that but they're in great condition obviously this is not going to sell for much but like i think there might be like an older i'm not sure what year they're from but they're very sturdy they're very great and they're in great condition so that's why I, you know i decided to get them then i found this Wait, what's in here? Did I put in the type of bag? Oh yeah. Ooh, I forgot about that. Ah, now this spell for stuff on my Okay. So this is a Petunia pickle bottom. Yeah, Petunia pickle bottom. And this is like a diaper bag company. And you know, diaper bags they're not they're not the most affordable. So it has these straps. So it's convertible. So you can wear it as a backpack. Or you can switch the straps and wear it as a crossbody. So it has like the little thingy here that I need to clean up because I see some milk or yogurt or baby puke. I don't know. But other than the dirt, oh, and there's a puzzle piece. Yay. Other than the like, the, you know, the staining and stuff, it's in great condition. So, and it's like a really cute print. So let's see how that does. And then on this bag, and whenever you're at the bins, if you see a bag, like always grab and see what's in it. Um, it's these threshold napkin holders. And there's chicken. And a, oh, cow and chicken. You guys ever watch that? I never did. But I think my sister-in-law did. Like that was from her generation. She's like a 90s baby. So anyways, it's cow and chicken. Or actually cow and rooster. But actually, a chicken is a rooster, a female chicken is a hen, and a baby chicken is a chick. I did not know that. I thought like it was chicken and rooster. But anyways, so this is, you know, universe, uh, Threshold from Target. It's not going to sell for much, but it is like newer tag, so 
That's why I got it. So this is going to be part one of my bins haul. I hope you like the stuff that I showed you today. You know, nothing amazing. There was no designer stuff on this day, but I'm overall pleased with my, you know, typical bread and butter stuff. So I am going to wrap this up and then I'm going to start filming part two, which will be posted next week. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy budgeting and reselling content, please consider subscribing. I post here every week. I'll see you again soon. Bye.